Bristol needs to build more places to live. The big question, of course, is where? Well, certainly not in the current scheme of things here, on idyllic green fields. No, what planners like are brownfield sites. And in the shadow of Brunel's Bridge, overlooked by the expensive properties of Clifton and Hot Wells, Bristol City Council thinks it's found just that. They would like this area to be known as the Western Harbour. But to Bristolians, it's always been called the Cumberland Basin. So, what is a brownfield site? Well, according to the urban planning definition, it's land which has been previously developed but is not currently in use. Cumberland Basin, the confluence of the tea coloured River Avon and Bristol's floating harbour. Shipping moves in and out of the harbour through these locks, whilst the Avon is diverted along the new cut, an artificial waterway constructed to take the tidal river through south and east Bristol. It's a place that can, with very high tides, be prone to flooding, and a key route for getting in and out of Bristol. An area full of structures reflecting the city's maritime heritage. Some of the key walls and bollards have listed building status. But it's not just a collection of old relics from the past. It has its own community. People live here. So, what has the City Council proposed for this area? At the moment, nothing for certain. There's something called a visioning report, which is full of thoughts and aspirations. What is definite though is that the area's 1960s road network needs major and very expensive refurbishment. 60 years of heavy traffic has taken its toll on the mainly elevated reinforced concrete structure. And the same applies to the 1965 Plimsoll Swing Bridge, which doesn't quite operate at this speed, although the traffic that queues when it opens for shipping probably wishes it did. It's been suggested that before tens of millions of pounds is spent, why not see if the current road layout in the area is still fit for purpose? Could it be redesigned or rerouted? A local business, the Riverside Garden Centre, was initially rather concerned as there was a thought to put a new dual carriageway right through the middle of it. And should a new bridge be built in a different place, further down the Avon Gorge? But if that happens, what about this classic view? And housing? Could land here be used for the construction of new homes and businesses? And what about the three former tobacco bonded warehouses which dominate the area? What part could they play in all this? How does it all tie in with the city's plans to encourage people to use public transport and cycle and walk more? And what about its cleaner air objectives? The public and interested groups have given their opinions on 
Bristol City Council's initial vision and a master plan for what's to be proposed for this unique and historic area is to be worked on between the end of this year, 2022, and the spring of 2024. So many questions with, as yet, no answers.